Okay, so we've talked about those, the different portions of, of eschatology. We've talked about the pre-trib, mid-trib, and post-trib. People who have, uh, the, the amillennial post-trib co accommodates most denominations have inherited that from the medieval church originally. Most of us that are fundamentalists, take the Bible very literally, fall on the other end. Uh, we're typically premillennial, pre-tribulational in our, in our viewpoints. There, therein lies the, 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 the map, if you will, of, of eschatological views. From allegorical to literal, depends what your hermeneutics are. Now many people say pre-tribulation is a, a new invention. That's not true. It's written in the Epistle of Barnabas in the first century, Irenaeus in, in his a treatise against heresies, Hippolytus in the second century, just martyr, the early church fathers. One of the most interesting documents was just discovered a few years ago by Ephraim the Syrian. Most of us inherit our understanding of the church history from the Western Church, Western Europe. You need to remember that the Eastern tradition goes deeper and longer by a thousand years, the, the, Greek, uh, the, uh, the, the Greek traditions. The, uh, uh, and one of the most prolific writers in the Greek tradition was a guy by the name of Ephraim, the Syrian, wrote in the fourth century. And uh, he wrote one of his, one, most of his stuff has never been translated from Greek to English. In one of his sermons, the title of which was on the last times, the Antichrist, the end of the world, in one of the sermons, he, this is, we're talking guy now, for, this is fourth century. It says, for all the saints and the elect of God are gathered prior to the tribulation that is to come and are taken to the Lord lest they see the confusion that is to overwhelm the world because of our sins. This is a pre-trib position taught uh, way back in the early Greek church. Uh, we also, you can go all through the ancient uh, commentaries. This is not a new idea. There are people opposed to this view that try to promote the idea it was invented in the early 1800s. That's not true. What did happen in the 1800s, a guy by the name of Emmanuel Lacunza uh, popularized this. The guy by the name of Edward Irving and John Darby and Margaret MacDonald followed suit. And they were, there was a, a big revival and an emphasis on this view. But you'll actually, if you do your homework in terms of church history, you'll discover these views were held by a minority from the beginning, all through history. They're the ones that are typically abused by the denominational interests, whether they're Catholic or Protestant. 